Hello, uh, welcome to Informatica Support. Uh, my name is Arvind Kate. I'm a software engineer in the MDM team here at Informatica. So in this video, we will uh, talk about the new concept which we brought in MDM 10.4. It's called the certificate based uh, password encryption. So we are no more using the Blowfish. So like from 10.4 onwards, like uh, we have introduced this certificate based one. So first we will talk about the authentication mechanism in MDM 10.4 and as well as in the lower version. Then we will go through with the resource kit sample. Then we will run the command to encrypt the password. Then after that we will, we will fire one simple SIF call to test the encrypted password. Okay. So before Informatica MDM 10.4, so we were using the Blowfish, so Blowfish algorithm to encrypt or decrypt the plain text password. So those passwords can be used to like communicate to the hub server from the outside the standalone application. So from 10.4 onwards, so we will be deprecating the Blowfish encryption. Informatica MDM will drop support for the Blowfish encryption in the future really. So from 10.4 onwards, we bought a new mechanism called the certificate based encryption method. So this is like the replacement of the Blowfish uh, encryption which we, will, which we were using in MDM 10.3 or the lesson version. So if you have upgraded your environment to MDM 10.4, then if you are still using the old Blowfish encryption, then Informatica will recommend you to update your API's password uh, with the new mechanism, certificate based encryption mechanism. So encrypting the password in MDM 10.4 HF2, okay. So if we have installed the resource kit, so we are providing uh, one command to generate the password. So this command will be available for both the platform Linux as well as in the Windows. So we will go through one by one. The command name will be get underscore encrypt underscore pwd dot sh or dot cmd based upon your environment. And the command is available under the below directory. Like you need to traverse to the resource kit, then automation, then execute batch command line tool and MDM execute batch process then under the script. So you will find both the command like uh, one for uh, Linux and one for Windows. So based upon your environment, so you can execute the command. So in the screen, as you can see, just uh, I gave some sample from the Linux uh, machine. So you need to enter get encrypt password.sh. So it will prompt a message saying that enter the clear text password to encrypt. So basically we are not uh, displaying the information. So that's for that reason, just I have put it this uh, star star star. So in your machine, it will not display anything. So it will be hidden. So after that, you need to enter it. Then the password will be encrypted and it will display it on the UI. And similarly for Windows also, just you need to go to the command prompt and uh, execute this get underscore encrypt underscore password and dot CMD. If you are in MDM 10.4 or like uh, 10.4 HF1, so by default, we are not providing this uh, this command in 10.4 and 10.4 HF1. So it is available from only 10.4 HF onwards. Uh, you can still see the old command uh, in the resource kit of 10.4 and 10.4 HF1. This is uh, the related to the Blowfish. So we recommend uh, you either you can contact to the Informatica global support team uh, of the MDM. So they will provide you the command or, you, or we have uh, another way to encrypt the password using this command. You can execute this command from your in InfoMDM hub server directory, uh, InfoMDM hub server lib directory. Okay, so from there you can execute this command and it will return the encrypted password. So we will go to the demo section. In this demo, so I will walk you through both the versions like MDM 10.4 HF2 as well as uh, if you are in uh, MDM 10.4 and 10.0 HF1. Okay, so I have logged into my Linux machine. So you need to go to this directory. So I have already in that directory. So just this one. Okay. So in home, in MDM hub, resource kit, and automation. I hope uh, you have installed the resource kit. Then only you can go inside this one. And then CD automation. I mean, it's automation. Let me total this. Okay, so you need to go to execute batch command line. So set here, then CD MDM execute batch process. So set here. Then you need to go inside the script. Set here. Okay. 
so as you can see right so we have two scripts so one for the Linux and one more for this uh, Windows so based upon your environment so you can uh, you can execute this command so now I logged into the Linux machine so just I will execute this command Let's just dot slash get encrypted dot sh. Okay. So it will ask for the plain text password. Actually, this will be hidden. So if you enter also, it will not visible. So be careful while entering the password here, and it should be in the plain text. So just consider for now our MDM uh, example purpose. So we are considering the admin. So I am typing the admin. So after that, just you need to hit enter. So you can make a note of this uh, encrypted password in uh, any of the text editor. So for the later uh, later purpose, so you can use this one, or you can share this password with the team who is uh, working on the uh, working on the API side. So those people can use this password. I will also make a copy of this encrypted password so that I will show you one of the CIF API sample uh, with this password. Okay, so let me open that uh, script what exactly it contains and how the certificate based authentication is happening. Okay, so let me check where we have the script ls minus ltr uh, so vi get encrypted.sh. Okay. So if you see here, so first, uh, so like couple of things we are setting, like what are the libraries required to execute the command, and then this one is the very important, like export, like MDM hub public key. So this is the certificate uh, which got uh, created like while installing the MDM or like if you are running uh, the post install script once again. So whatever the encryption method is happening in 10.4, right? So this will be completely based upon this certificate. So this certificate underscore hub dot certificate. So based on this certificate only the encryption is happening. So we'll call it as like MDM hub public key certificate. Okay. So just now uh, I have opened this uh, SOAP UI. So just to show you that uh, encrypted password how you can pass in the SOAP UI or like uh, if you want to fire any SIF request from the SOAP UI. So for sample, I'm just considering a put uh, put example just to update the one of the existing record. So make sure this uh, encrypted password is true. So value should be true. And this I have copied whatever I have shown you, right? So this one I just copied from there. So while copying, please make sure that it should not uh, contain any of the special character or some of the junk character. So so make sure that in your test edi text editor it should not contain any blank spaces or any special character okay so let me fire this request uh, with this encrypted password so it should be update one of the record yeah so updated extra okay. so this is where this is the how uh, like you can uh, use this encrypted password with the certificate based mechanism you can use this encrypted password uh, for uh, like if you are working with any of the MDM uh, resource kit samples which uh, we have provided right like uh, execute batch command line is there or like automation tool is there so like if you are if you are writing some of the standalone Java program and where uh, where you don't want to show the plain text password so there also you can use this one okay so if you are in mdm 10.4 and 10.4 hf1 so where in the resource kit if you are still referring to the old blowfish uh, method of the encryption then you can then you can run this uh, below command okay so let me go let me go to the hub server directory hub server lib directory so let me check in which directory i think in 5 cd hub server lib okay so here I need to just uh, need to run this uh, command. Okay. So Java minus class path. So these are the name of the jar. You just need to copy as it is. Okay. This one. And this is the important thing. This is the plain text which uh, which one you want to encrypt it. This is the plain text. And you need to provide the hub server path. So where where uh, where is the hub server installation path? So in my directory, I think it is in. 
slash home slash info mdm hub server okay so after this just you need to enter it this you will get it so the whatever the plain text you got and with uh, the encrypted text also. so you can use this one or like to fire any of the sif call or if you have written any of the java program or in the met command automation tool so this is how you will uh, encrypt the password in mdm 10.4 uh, onward that's all about the mdm password encryption in 10.4 uh, version so we would love to hear from you so if you have any queries just you can mail us to like support videos at informatica.com or you can tweet us uh, twitter.com slash info support thanks for watching this video so we'll see you in the next uh, video so until then take care